There is more to this than RGB LED lights. Oh, hey guys, I am absolutely terrified and I'm going to tell you why in a second, but let's start with, hey, my intro. Hey, I've got a new device from Sonoff. It's called Sonoff TX Ultimate. Is it your ultimate switch? Hmm, we're going to answer that. So a couple of weeks ago, I received iHost and Sonoff TX Switch. Since I already covered iHost and you can learn all about it in this video, well, what's left is to discuss the Son of TX wall switch, an ultimate experience that you should have on your wall. If you're watching it now when I release this video, the product has launched today and you can purchase your version of the TX switch right now. It's available from 1 to 3 gangs, it's a Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz switch and it comes with the requirements of neutral or end life wires required to power it on. I received or actually requested a 3 gang switch because I'm a firm believer in N plus one number of gangs that you should really put on your wall. Why? Well, check out this video, you're gonna find out why. But it's not just a switch that I received, I also received covers because well, to customize your experience even further, it's like you can, you know, change the lights, but you can also customize the front plates, you could pick from, well, unfortunately, one of two different plates. A dark one with stars and a bright one with some cutie characters that probably would suit a bedroom for kids. I don't have kids, so the choice was pretty obvious, I went with the stars. It's a fun little idea and the covers are easy to swap, however with uh, such a small choice I don't see this being very important as of yet. But I know a lot of you DIY fans are really eager to automate things your way, so if they provide different design that could actually change the way you look at switches and customize not just how smart switches act, but also how they look like. Other than that, it's a pretty standard switch. It requires you to have a box which can accommodate the back plane, which uh, dimensions are 45 by 45 by 25. So this is the kind of area you need to uh, fit that into the box. And now I need to explain why I'm hunting with my fingertips and why am I terrified. I actually had to go back, dig out my a Switchman M5 switch, which I received months ago, to confirm that I wasn't paranoid. If you look at the back of that TX Ultimate switch, you'll notice that the terminals are exposed. I taped them over for security because I'm manhandling it right now to demonstrate it to you. And obviously you're gonna be connecting that when everything is powered on and never touch it again because it's gonna be in your wall. But what happened to that small flap for security? You could just cover up the terminals and not be paranoid as I am right now. <laughs> I am paranoid because in the past I got shocked because of that design. And since we're complaining, it's not my only complaint because well, where's the second neutral so I could connect it properly? Come on! I mean, I think I've made the same complaint about the Switchman M5, but yeah, where is it? The Switch itself, at least my version, is rated for 15 amps. Five amps per gang, which is plenty for lights, and I have a suspicion that if you have less gangs, you're gonna have a slightly smaller rating. That's okay, like I said, five amps, like I said, five amps, that's plenty for lights. But other than that, it's just a smart switch, and you know, you've got plenty of them. Okay, it's time to talk about exciting features. We're gonna start with lights. Those lights are created by 28 individually addressable LEDs inside, so these are capable of playing animations, changing colors, and uh, doing all sorts of party tricks, including different light effects available when you toggle the switches. But it's not just RGB that you've got inside. We also have a speaker, which is gonna make sound when the buttons are activated. Thankfully, this is purely all optional and you can disable it. I can imagine the kids driving you mad as we speak. But if you notice, I actually don't press any buttons because there are no buttons. What do we have inside? We have a vibration motor. The entire thing responds like a keyboard on your phone with a haptic feedback, imitating the physical buttons. Now, my switch, because it has three gangs, is separated into three different areas where once touched gently, they will well, generate the toggle function and will toggle whatever is connected to the end of my switch. But unlike glass panel, the TX Ultimate is also equipped in gestures. 
the most simple gesture is touching all three will disable that ambient light around it or enable it so you don't actually have to go to your app to do it. But there are also gestures to swipe light, left and swipe right. So you could totally go on Tinder with this. So I hope you're gonna swipe right on me. Is that? Oh shit, that was left. left. Right now, only two gestures are available through the automation panel. However, that gives you extra two different controls that you can deploy on your wall, which is super exciting. Before we play any further, I think I know exactly what you want to see next. You want to peek inside and see what is it made of and how it all works. And most importantly, is it flashable? To get inside, all you have to do is just remove four corner screws to reveal the same module at design available on either Switchman M5 series or NS Panel and NS Panel Pro, which makes me even more disappointed about the fact how they designed the back plane and exposed all the terminals because they could just simply re uh, reuse one of those backs from the previous models and we all would be happy, or at least I would be happy, right? And as the device pairs via Bluetooth, it probably comes as no surprise to anyone that we're going to find an ESP32 inside. ESP DOWD to be precise, R2V3, if you, if you want some more details. But the good thing about it is that it's actually surrounded with plenty of depth pads, which means flashing the smooth on that, it's not going to be that difficult. Probably mapping all those extra functions will be slightly harder. To provide RGB illumination, there are 28 RGB LEDs scattered around the edges of the board and haptic, as I've already mentioned, is provided thanks to this tiny little vibration motor. There is a speaker which is hidden on one side of the PCB and, another surprise, an extension to the Wi-Fi antenna which, when hidden directly underneath the plastic shielding, should provide you with much better reception than any other design. Now that we know what's inside and how it works, I think it's time to pair it with EWILink app and start exploring all the options and settings that we actually can set with this device. In the main app, the card looks like typical either wall panel or tree uh, channel relay, which you can quickly set it up and start operating without actually going inside the device. It's very responsive, quick to uh, activate, and yeah, I have absolutely no problems with it, especially that it supports local LAN. But once you access the device menu, you'll see all the customization that you can actually perform. The eight different animation and light effects that you can apply to that RGB bar uh, on your switch, and you can toggle them on and off, like I mentioned, either with a gesture obscuring all the buttons on your device or throughout the menu. This will vary from a nightlight, which you can use as a way to illuminate your path towards, I don't know, bathroom or switch, instead of, uh, you know, turning the main lights on, or just play all the animations that you can set depending, for example, on your mood. These light effects can be customized even further when you go to the menu to enable different lights for different action on your switch. So each gun has their own presets. You can set different colors, different animations and different sounds for individual gangs. Those can be also put on a schedule so they won't bother you during the night. There are five different sound and light effects for each action. However, not all of them is gonna be available via automation panel. Opening automation panel, you'll quickly discover that you can use those uh, gestures I've mentioned earlier to trigger your automation, which is nice. But your actions on Son of TX Ultimate are limited to the following. You can either enable or disable the ambient effect currently selected in the app, or you can play two different sounds, an alarm sound or doorbell sound. Unfortunately, you don't have an access to different sound clips that are already stored on the device, and you can't change animation preset, which would be very handy if you want to display, for example, different animation for different notifications at home to use this sort of system as a, a makeshift intercom. Looking through the menus, I also see that apart from supporting local LAN, it supports EWILink Remote. If you remember, EWILink Remote is their own protocol to enable connectivity between a host device and eight different devices without even using internet. So it's very handy for very yeah, niche case uh, scenarios. 
we have an inching and a power recovery state uh, that can be set for each individual channel, which is very, very nice. And all the bells and whistles of Ewelink app, including schedules, loops, and voice integration with Alexa or Google Home. If you watched my iHost video, you know that this is the next best thing, right? So the question is, does it work with Sonoff TX Ultimate? Unfortunately, it doesn't. However, I spoke to Sonoff people and they assured me that Sonoff TX Ultimate is already included in the iHost roadmap, so soon enough we should see the compatibility with iHost. And my question is like, hmm, I wonder what kind of interaction is going to be enabled and how much control I'm going to have over the existing sounds, light effects, etc. Ideally, I would like to see the option to upload your own custom sounds and create your own effects, but uh, frankly speaking, I don't think that's gonna happen. But what can happen is obviously we can change the way the device works by flashing Tasmota. Now there are no official Tasmota versions for this device just yet because, well, it only just got released. However, with time, I'm sure we're gonna see something interesting. Now the question is, what I'm going to do next? Because on one side, I will be very keen to flash Tasmota, play with it and tell you all about it. But on the other side, I think this time around, I'm going to back up my original firmware so I could go back uh, to the original firmware and test it with iHost to confirm what kind of functionality we could expect once uh, Son of TX Ultimate is enabled for iHost. So if you want to get your hands of one of these Son of TX Ultimate, and the pricing starts from $24.90 US dollars for, for a single gang device. And I'm going to list the link to these in the description section of this video. However, if you want to know what I'm going to do with mine, then you know how YouTube works. I do not have a posting schedule, but I'm not going to explain you how to use all the tools. You told for that anyway. As for now, guys, do let me know what you think about a Son of TX Ultimate, whether you tempted to get a device like this, or whether you would rather see something like an panel on your wall instead. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Big thanks for watching and stay in touch. You can use some of the social media links listed down below. Take care. Bye.